Oh, hell. I see. You were all bent to set against me for your merriment. If you were civil and knew courtesy, you would not do me thus much injury. Can you not hate me, as I know you do? But you must join in souls to mock me too. If you were men, as men you are in show, you would not use a gentle lady so, to vow and swear and superpraise my parts, when I am sure you hate me with your hearts. You both are rivals, and love Hermia, and know both rivals to mock Helena. A trim exploit, a manly enterprise, to conjure tears up in a poor maid's eyes with your derision. Lysander, why unkindly didst thou leave me so? What love could press Lysander from my side? No, she is one of this confederacy. Now I perceive they have conjoined all three to fashion this false sport in spite of me. Oh, injurious Hermia, most ungrateful maid. Have you conspired? Have you with these contrived to bait me with this foul derision? Is all the counsel that we two have shared, the sisters' vows, the hours that we have spent, when we have chid the hasty-footed time for parting us? Oh, is it all forgot? All school days, friendship, childhood innocence? And will you rent our ancient love asunder to join with men in scorning your poor friend? It is not friendly, tis not maidenly. I, I, I'm amazed at your passionate words. I scorn you not. It seems that you scorn me. Have you not set Lysander as in scorn to follow me and praise my eyes and face? And with your, major, your other love, Demetrius, who even but now did spurn me with his foot to call me goddess, nymph, divine and rare, precious, celestial. Wherefore speaks he this to her he hates? And wherefore doth Lysander deny your love, so rich within his soul, and tender me, forsooth affection? But by your setting on, by your consent, I understand not what you mean by this. I do persevere, counterfeit sad looks, make mouths upon me when I turn my back, Wink at each other, hold the sweet jest up. If you have any pity, grace, or manners, you would not make me such an argument. But fare ye well, tis partly my own fault, which death or absence shall soon remedy. Oh, me, you juggler, you canker blossom, you thief of love. What, have you come by night and stolen my love's heart from him? Fine, I faith. Have you no modesty, no maiden shame, no touch of bashfulness? What, will you tear impatient answers from my gentle tongue? Fie, fie, you counterfeit, you puppet, you... Puppet? Why so? Why, that way goes the game. Now I perceive she hath made compare between our statures. She hath urged her height. And with her personage, her tall personage, her height forsooth, she hath prevailed with him. And are you grown so high in his esteem, because I am so dwarfish and so low? How low am I, thou painted maypole? Speak! How low am I? I am not yet so low, but my nails can reach into thine eyes. I pray you, though you mock me, gentlemen, let her not hurt me. I was never cursed. I have no gift at all in shrewishness. I am a right maid for my cowardice. Let her not strike me. You perhaps may think, because she is something lower than myself, that I can match her. Lower? Hark again! Oh, good Hermia, do not be so bitter with me. I evermore did love you, Hermia. Did ever keep your counsels. Never wronged you. Save that, in love unto Demetrius. I told him of yourself unto this wood. He followed you, for love I followed him. But he hath chid me hence, and threatened me to strike me, spurn me, nay, to kill me too. And now, so you will let me go quiet, to Athens will I bear my folly back, and follow you no further. Let me go. You see how simple and how fond I am. Why, get you gone. Who is it that hinders you? 
A foolish heart that I leave here behind. What, with Lysander? With Demetrius. Oh, when she's angry, she is keen and shrewd. She was a vixen when she went to school. And though she be but little, she is fierce. Little again! Nothing but low and little. Why will you suffer her to flank me thus? Let me come to her! I will not trust you. I no longer stay in your cursed company. Your hands and mine are quicker for a fray. My legs are longer, though, to run away!